on guys? Uh, this is Dirt Shape Clock again from the Spoiler Alert Network. Today I am coming at you with my first Retro Volt. Because uh, I was supposed to do this a long time ago, honestly. But it became a hassle because I was putting together a PC and just a lot of things went wrong. But it is together, we are functioning, I am on the emulator, and today I am playing Zelda Ocarina of Time, and we are running through the Great Dooku Tree, also known as the Tree of Exposition. So, uh, I'll kind of speed run it, that way you guys don't sit here and watch me explore every nook and cranny of this tree. This was actually... Shut up, Navi! Ah, I know! I can't skip dialogue in this game, but... Shut! Would you shut up? You literally just told me this. So, we're gonna kick open this chest that I can literally fit inside. But Zelda was honestly one of the first games that I ever played uh, growing up. And in the early 2000s, I want to say it was, I had a 64 and a PS2 in my house and just played a bunch of old games there was also 64 in my grandma's house super mario 64 zelda ocarina of time kind of the games that got me into uh gaming you know the whole thing as a whole would you stop okay bye Navi. get out of here so this is kind of kind of nostalgic me replaying this game i still do a lot of things from this game Ah, oh, this guy. Nailed him! Fucking one shot, bud. You ain't got nothing. Come here. Come here. Come here. But, uh, very nostalgic playing this game, as I was saying. So, we are going to relive that. And after I get done with this video and edit it together, I'm just going to play this game for like 12 more hours. Spends thousands of dollars on a PC build just to play games from 30 years ago. Nostalgia controls people's lives. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Yeah. So, fun fact, this room, I trapped myself in the first time I ever played Ocarina of Time. Got some rupees. Because that box, that crate that's in the middle of the room, you jump on it, and then it falls and crashes. You're supposed to use it to get out. Well... I'm a dunce, because I didn't realize that. I jumped on it to get across, and then it fell and crashed, and I was trapped in this room. Got my slingshot of slinginess. I got to try to break myself of using the D-pad. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller at the moment, because I had a Steam controller that broke. But uh, the analog stick was super touchy, and cost me lots of lots of lots of deaths so my right analog stick is currently my d-pad and my d-pad is just a useless d-pad we're gonna get in this tiny little chest too oh look a recovery heart yay so if you guys want to see what i mean you can see inverted controls but you can see that box falls down and crashes and there's not really a great way to get to the other side I'm not I'm not sure what's going on over there yeah 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 nailed it let me out you senseless combat rolls into a door all right so now we're going to shoot some Spidey boys. I have you guys muted, by the way, because the feedback from my headphones was too much for this game and my mic. So you guys will have to deal with me talking the whole time. And you won't get a, you won't get a hear Link do his combat, uh, his combat shouts, but you'll get to hear me do them for you. Because I use limit use them in everyday life. Not a good shot, apparently. Look at these tiny sausages. These tiny sausage links of destruction. Nailed it. Alright, so we're going to climb up this vine. 
this is one of the places where my glitchy analog stick gave me a lot of trouble because I kept shooting off to the left and just falling. That was a headache. Because I actually have already ran through the Great Tree of Exposition, trademarked. And... Yep! Yeah! I've actually ran through this tree already, but I don't know how to do things right, so... I ended up running through it and OBS crashed on me and I wasn't aware so I just did I rec I thought I had recorded an hour of content ah! Ah! I thought I had recorded an hour of content and it turns out I wasn't recording anything at all so I got off and I was just kind of discouraged Kill this thing. The Scrawltala, or whatever it's called. Shots! Jump off and get that thing! Yeah! Gold Scrawltala. Got a token. Because I am the greatest to ever do this shit. Go over here. Kick this chest open. Boink! I think it's hilarious how he just, Link just kicks chest open. Like, it, whatever. So light this bad boy on fire. Jump over here. F*** off, flower. Light some cobwebs on fire and we're good to go. Let's go through this door and then these things, which are... Oh, didn't mean to do that. I tried to just get that, tried to just deflect that one. But... Are you f***ing serious? What the... I was standing on the thing! Come on. Crock a dog poo. Don't go back in here. Okay. Uh, I need some water. I'm dehydrated. You will never beat my brothers. Yeah. As if. I'm the main protagonist of this game, bro. Victory is in my genes. 23 is number one. Give me that heart that I don't need. Now let's cut some grass. Yeah! For some rupees. Cut that grass too. Oh, or just hit the wall. What'd I get? Dooku seeds! For my slingshot, bro. Inverted controls are whack. Let me through this door. This is another fun area where... ah. Navi just forcing her exposition tutorials on me constantly. This is another fun area where I had some troubles with the first time I ever played this game because I kept mistiming this dive over here, not giving myself enough time to go back. Oh, well, apparently I'm just going to miss the button entirely. A little rusty. Stop! But I kept mistiming this button pushing. And I didn't give myself enough time to get back over here and jump on this thing, which I actually might do now. Yeah! Nailed it! Impeccable timing! Get up here. Look at this boy. Yeah! Sway, boy, sway! Doink! Let's wait for him to come back down. Doink! Give me some, give me some stuff, or don't. More tutorials! Always fun. Can't skip dialogue in this game. Good times. Good times. As it leeches across my screen. So you guys are about to see one of the most impressive feats of strength from a 10 year old ever. As I push this, gotta be at least, like, it's got to be at least eight or nine hundred pounds. Just, you know, your average ten-year-old Kakari elf. Just pushing this around like it's nothing. Alright, trapped! I like it! Get my sword out, bro. You want some? You want some, you little bitch? Come on, bounce off my shield. Doink! Yeah! Give me that. Give me that stuff, bro. Alright, get out a stick, 
of stickiness. Light you on fire. Light you on fire. Let's just put the stick away. Oh, nope, that's not how I put the stick away. Oh, well. Cut some grass. Get some rupees. So, all right, pausing for one second because the dog wants to leave the room. Okay, we're back. Yep, we're back. She picks the worst times to just go around and wander around the house. So, you know what? You want one? You want one, bud? Doink! Come back down. I'll give you another. Yoink! And now we're about to face one of the most tedious enemies in this game. Ah, uh, where are you? I know you're coming. Yep. Right there. You piece of poo. Yeah! Ah, I always miss time the jumps. Yeah! Where's the fire? There it is. Get my stick out. Run past these ever spawning enemies that just don't stop spawning, by the way. Fun fact. They just spawn infinitely. So you can just stay in here and... Yep, see, there's one behind me. Alright. Let's go do this stuff. It's over here. Ah, just a couple of flowery flowers, a flower station. Let's just push around another several hundred pound block. Not climb it, you doofus. Get off. Push, push, push. Almost there. Alright. Nailed it. Should probably get some more Dooku sticks. Got that heart. Two, three, one. Twenty three is number one. Ah, you. Okay, last one. Just stand here and wait. Yep, nailed it. Queen Goma. Tell me how to defeat her. This was honestly one of the most intense boss fights of my young career. She always gave me problems. Always. So you guys are probably about to watch me get my ass whipped for a couple of minutes. So what we're going to do is save before we go in and then we're gonna go fight her the first time I did this also fun fact I just senselessly wandered around in this corridor because I didn't put two and two together that I have to make eye contact with this chick and we're trapped just like that Not close enough. Yep, there it is. Ah, spook! The big spook! Ah, yeah. Ah, it's so intense. My palms are already sweating. Oh my god. Slash the f*** out of your eyeball. Come on. Bring it on. Sit. Yeah. Now she's going to retreat onto the ceiling where I can't get to. Because I don't have the right equipment yet. And she's going to spawn a bunch of minions for me to fight. Get three of them. Give me that heart. 
which I literally recently learned this. Come on, pal. Yeah! Can I get another heart, please? No. There's one. Focus. Ah! Mistimed that. Slash the f out of this eyeball! And she's gone. I need to get another heart from this infinitely growing grass. Thanks, pal. Spawn your eggs. Spawn them. I'm gonna pop them. I recently, literally recently learned that you can just walk into these eggs with your shield and bust them. Or you can just walk into them and hurt yourself. Because that's also fun. Yeah! Come on, guy. Yeah, stab! See yeah, stab! Combat roll, combat roll, combat roll, combat roll! Jesus, this is terrifying. And here she comes. Where's she, where's she coming from? There it is. Come on, come on, come on. Here! Yeah! Woo! Nailed it! Man, that is actually a little bit easier than I remember. Oh my god. My palms are literally shaking. I don't know why Queen Goma always gives me problems or just makes my heart race, but she does. So now I get my reward. I believe I get, yep, I get uh, up on my, on my health. Now I have four hearts. Alright guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, this is Dirt Sheet. This has been my first episode of the Retro Vault. Be sure to come back on Saturday for an episode of the Watchlist. Be sure to tune back in on Tuesday for an episode of After Dark. And then come back next Thursday for another episode of the Retro Vault. Uh, and I, I wish I could tell you who's doing what, but I don't know. I'm the worst. They just tell me to do something and I do it. So anyways, guys, just remember to stay dedicated.